Hey, I'm Hugga, this is Z-Man. I'm here today with a little follow-up video for my unhackable combination lock door. Uh, so anyway, today I got a comment from MFC Minecraft asking me to show how we did the lava punishment system. And so I figured I'd like actually build it and redo it for you guys so you guys know exactly how I did it. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Uh, so really, all, you, all you're going to do, it, this, this really isn't that hard of a thing to little kind of add on. Um, so what we want to do is go off these two inputs right here. We've got to invert, oh shit, <laughs> frames per second are just dropping right here. So anyway, we've got to do this. And then we're going to make another AND gate down here. So we're building off of our original AND gate, which unlocks the door. So that this is uh, the torch connected to our actual like opening switch. And this is connected to uh, the actual combination. And let's make a little AND gate right here. So right now, as it stands, um, this is going to be off, so we're going to invert stuff and the lava system will have to be off. Um, so, what you need to do, what I did, was I built a little memory gate right here. And this right here is, um, no, I'm going to have to build it over a little bit farther so it doesn't interfere that with that other redstone. But anyway, so this is for, uh, this is so that when you're, um, when somebody does an input, it doesn't, it, it stays that way. You can't just turn off, turn it back, turn the lever the other way and have the entire system turn off. But we're going to need a lever right there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to build this right here, uh, I think, mm, right about there, uh, I want to say. Um, I think that's wrong. Yeah. I think it needs to be one farther up. So when it's extended, it'll be even. Yeah, that's good enough, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually right. So when it's extended, it'll go. It'll uh, extend and have that block right there. Um, and then what we also want to do is, if I can figure out what the hell I'm doing, put pistons right here. And this is a lot like just a hidden door, except it's just a hidden hole in the ceiling. That's all it really is. And so, um, we're going to cover this up. We'll make sure it all works better in a bit. Um, because this is going to be where the lava goes. It's right there. It's right about there, or a little bit higher, probably. Um, yeah. So anyway, now we got to connect everything. So I don't know why, know why I put that there. Um, so we need that. Uh, now we really got to watch out for that, because we don't want our wire getting screwed up by that. So, what I want to do is go like that, like that, set that to four. There we go. Um, hmm. Now we're going to need to invert this. So, that one's going to be fine. And then we're going to have to invert this one as well. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do is just go like that. Um, go like that and we should be good so if I break this off that didn't work oh okay okay there we go um, huh. let's go like that and like that and that'll be fine And then turn it back off. 
There we go. That should that should work. Right there. Oh, we need to connect this to there though. <laughs> so uh, connect the AND gate to the memory gate so that when this turns on, which will be when this is wrong, so when that is on, because that right now the com the combination is wrong, right? The combination should be wrong. Yep, it's wrong. Because this needs to be off. So right now this is off and when that lever is pressed, this will turn on, turning that off, and turn this on, activating the memory gate, and turning this one on, and retracting these pistons, which will surprise, just surprise, surprise, bring lava down. So, go like that, and there you go, there's that, and because of the memory gate, we cannot retract the uh, pistons from here. Um, the only way to retract the pistons would be by doing that, which the lever would be connected outside of the actual room. And then you gotta, yep, okay. And then, so you gotta make sure that your lever's over there are right, and then turn this off. You can always make sure they're right and then go flick it just once, just turn it off and on. And you'll be good, and then that'll stay, that'll stay stuck like that. Um, so anyway, we'll just go like this. I don't like that, and like that. We should be all good. Um, lava should not pour down there. I hope. <laughs> Let's see. See what happens. It shouldn't. No, it should fall straight down, just like that. So correct that, flick that, and then the lava will pour slightly. But that'll be all good. And wow, lots of lava. Lava's so annoying. Ah. Well, guys, I think that's about it. We can like cover this up and make an actual ceiling and stuff so that it looks a little bit more non-conspicuous like that <laughs> or whatever. Build it into a mountain like I did, whatever you want to do. Um, but it should all work. And guys, I think that's about it. I um, I don't think there should be any more questions about this unhackable combination lock door, but if there is, uh, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys out, uh, show you exactly what you need, whatever. Uh, but so anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, catch your mother huggers later. Boy, boy.